These gray clouds in the sky are making me nervous. The forecast says there's no rain. But it has been known before to be wrong. And we have a hole in our ceiling. I just hope we get our fan in and the glue dries in time. We got the Max Fan Deluxe. Only difference I can find between the 7000K and the 7100K is that this one's white, which will match our roof. It automatically senses if it's getting too hot inside and switches on to suck the hot air out. The other thing that's cool about this is it has an overhang, so it doesn't matter if it's raining, it can still turn on and function without any water coming inside. We're just rearranging our bathroom a little bit. We decided we were okay with our bathroom taking up the smallest amount of space because it's the place you spend the least time in really, but that it just was careful planning that was necessary if your bathroom's really small. So we kind of had a plan and we were okay with it and now we're about to put a skylight in our bathroom and we were like hang on let's see if there's a way we can rearrange this to get the skylight over the shower like we originally intended so we moved everything around and we've got some boxes in place as our pretend do you call it furniture if it's in the bathroom <laughs> i guess so this is our side hallway right the doors will shut out so you'll have a little extra standing room in your bathroom so the bathroom takes up the whole width of the bus this box right here is our toilet. We're gonna uh, build our own composting toilet. And to the side of it, there's gonna be kind of a half wall where we fill, we'll have like pull out shelves for trash can and peat moss or sawdust for the composting toilet. Probably some shelving above. And this is just a temporary tub. Uh, we're gonna get a bigger one. It'll come out to here, so it'll go all the way to the wall and this will be our tub over here with the little half wall kind of blocking the shower off from the toilet and the sink right next to it. Thank you Tammy and John for this wedding gift that we are going to turn into our bathroom sink. This way we have also got all of our plumbing in the same area, shower, sink, and right over here in the kitchen is the kitchen sink because our water tanks are going to be below here. So now that we've rearranged our bathroom in this way, we're gonna give it our skylight in here over our shower, which is fantastic because we didn't want to put it in this area because it's so curved. It just, there's more opportunity for problems when you're bending the plexiglass and for leaks. And we felt really good about the ones we put here. So we thought this is gonna be much better to keep our um, skylight directly over the shower to give you a little more light and spacious feeling in your shower. And then we still have space over here to put our max air fan to extract any heat and steam from the bathroom. Our max fan is going to go in here on this side and it is basically a square. Our frame is going to kind of fit in here and we need an extra little bit, it kind of looks like a ladder that goes all the way to the beam on the roof so we can secure the wooden frame into the beam. Plus, you have to consider about your solar panels. box from our solar panels which is exactly the same size as our solar panels so from the inside I'll be able to get a good idea and see if our plan will really work. I think we should be able to put 10 solar panels although we're gonna start with six and see how it works. We're gonna have rails that go all the way down the roof of the top of 
of the bus. And then we'll be able to move around railing on top of that. So we should be able to configure it very easily for seven and then reconfigure it at another point to put 10 on. That's the plan anyway. With the plan in place, we got to work creating frames for our bathroom fan and skylight. We made sure the interior fan trim piece fit perfectly. Then added an additional support to our frame. You're working with us. You always want to come in and check that it fits. I think we're getting better at this. Yeah. Don't you want to uh, toss it? You know, breathe it in. Are you sure? I'm not in an enclosed space, and I'm not spraying it in my face. Maybe I should get one. Yeah. <laughs> Creating and installing our third skylight went really smoothly. Another thing they don't teach at bus school, which I found is helpful, is to put your sleeve into the glove so the hot metal doesn't go up into your sleeve. We cover each of the steps and hardware we used for making our skylights in detail in a previous video. We'll include a link to that video below. How do you like it? Great. But we did pretty good with the second. First one was a learning experience and took a lot longer. Second one went quicker and the third one went really quickly and really smoothly. Should we do the whole bus? Here? <laughs> Let's just keep going. More skylights? No. No, I think we're done with skylights for now. Yay! It's like an outdoor shower now. Can you see me? Yeah. Today we're going to put the fan in the bus. We made our frame and then when we realized we had to go and make uh, our pilot holes, we can't get to it because of this middle part of the frame. So, we're going to take it out. We then put the frame in place, marked where we needed to cut through the ceiling, and double check to make sure the fan trim piece would fit our final fan frame. Here it goes, cutting hole number four in the roof. Grey clouds in the sky making me nervous. The forecast says there's no rain, but it has been known before to be wrong, and we have a hole in our ceiling. I just hope we get our fan in and the glue dries in time. tape to the bottom to seal it to the roof. And also added a silicone sealant to the bottom and the edge of the mount to ensure it would be watertight. 
Then we use 16 screws to secure the fan mount through the bus's aluminum roof and into the fan frame that we'd created. Since the fan was designed to mount flush onto a flat roof, the mount bowed slightly when we screwed it into the curved roof of our bus. I mean, the back ones are close. I can't see the hole at all. Yeah. I can see you're moving it. I can almost see the hole, but it's not going down. It's not staying down. And it took a few tries to get it on correctly. I'm hoping that it stays in. I assume they know that those four screws will hold it down <laughs> when you're driving on the highway. What you got there? The remote. I see it. All I did is switch the power on and I decided it was hot in here. And it opened. Turn the fan on. It's got intake and exhaust settings. We test those out and it seems to be really efficient. Like it cooled off in here pretty quickly. Can we uh, stay up the roof for a little while? <laughs> this is not my favorite thing to do. Juggling multiple projects and limited opportunities for getting supplies thanks to the pandemic. We took the opportunity to learn how to make cabinets. Today we're going to start building our entertainment center. And create our TV lift and fireplace cabinet. But we'll share that with you next time. <laughs>